I think, you know, first thing is to reduce the amount of materials that you use. The second thing is to reuse them. I mean, this is this whole thing, right? You just, uh, and uh, then, then when you're, when in the end, it'd be nice to recycle. I wish, I wish, you know, we had better plastic recycling in the United States. I wish we weren't using so many different kinds of plastic or we had the technology to recycle it without sorting it all out. Um, in, most, in many communities, we don't. Um, in our community, we, in Colorado, we don't have uh, newspaper recycling, or they won't take cardboard boxes, you know? So, uh, uh, you know, maybe people aren't going to be, if I believe the economist, people aren't going to be reading the newspaper that much longer. So maybe that, maybe that, but, the, you know, with people ordering stuff from Amazon and all this, the amount of shipping cardboard that's going through the system is enormous, and it's not, in our community, it's not recyclable. So that's, and you know, you wonder if, it, it's great to be able to get those books, but look at all the energy that it's taking to move them around. What's the real cost? The real cost of doing that, is that sustainable to do it in that way? Um, maybe, we'll be, maybe we'll be reading the books electronically. That'll, that'll, that'll help. I think we have to get much more local about what we're doing. Um, grow food locally, stop shipping things all over the place. It's, it, not only is it more energy efficient and economical, it's also the f probably fresher too. So we don't need all these preservatives. But the, the uh, return to doing things more locally is, uh, is uh, kind of a long wave trend that I think will, will arise here somewhere in the near future, but it's not certainly the standard practice Today, but you see people at MIT talking about things like fab labs. You know, you basically can build this flexible little lab where you can make just about anything using advanced technology. So you can imagine, uh, in, in an era of customization, that you know, each community could have somebody who could make clothes. You know, clothes that would last a long time. They don't have to come from China. They can come from a little factory in your house and. Uh, it's like a cottage industry returns, you know, that, and that'd be really, really cool. So technology may lead us there. I, I, I think it's possible. And I, I lived in Mexico for a while and uh, had a, needed some furniture, and I just walked on the street and handed a guy a sketch of what I wanted, and he made it right there. Um, and that sort of fab lab kind of thing, I think, will happen more and more. On the other hand, there are things that we use, like the video camera we're recording this with, like microprocessor chips. Uh, there are things that are very high technology. Uh, medicine, you know, to treat cancer and research on cancer, those are going to be industrial scale activities. Nobody's going to do that in their garage. You know, a cure for, you know, muscular dystrophy or something, that, you know, that's, that takes people all over the world in many, many years and, you know, we hope we have it and then it's not going to be a, it's not, at least not in this century, I don't think that's a cottage activity. We don't have, we don't know enough for someone to sit and as, as a sole inventor, invent a cure for a, ma a major condition like that. So we will have these large scale activities and we, and we need them, but what's appropriately local, I think, uh, economics is now allowing to be, to be thought of as local again. And people like it, people love Locally, you know, it's kind of the Chez Panisse Berkeley movement, locally grown food, fresh ingredients, you know, the whole Alice Waters thing. I mean, that's the food, the food that tastes good, that's not industrially produced. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the chains, the, the supermarket chains will, of course, cater to that from a marketing standpoint. But going to your farmer's market to get stuff is such a, is such a pleasure to actually meet the people who, and respect the people who grow the food. It's an, something. I, I really love.